um, your confidence is going to waver. That's, that's the most important thing you got to understand, but you have to just hold on to it. And nothing can pry it, pry it from you. That's the thing. Nothing can pry your hands open and take your dream. Things, can be, things are going to beat you up and try to convince you to let it go. But it won't take it. You have to make that decision to let it go. Man, and now we're here. My success, it ain't random. Float on the scene like a phantom. You and I should be on one accord. Together, one hell of a tandem. I done cut ties to take it this high. High. The top is my spot, no questioning why. Why? Took some L's like a champ. I just keep finding wins because I'm really inspired. Just turned up a notch. Back baby. at it. Success ain't random podcast. Whew, bruh. What could I say about this man right here? Kickback one and two. Young Spike Lee in the making. I'm saying, man, this man has brought a community together and making magic. You feel me? Uh, cannot wait for this red carpet event. It's going to be lit. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm not going to lie, bro. I'm low-key salty. You didn't want to spoil what happens at the end. Oh. But, I mean, but it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Come on. Of course not, man. My boy. Director Fresh. What's good, my brother? I'm good, man. How you doing? You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Good, man. Bless, bless, bless. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm hyped. You got you got my wife, you got my wife excited for this event. You know what I'm saying? I got a bands watching those series right now, trying to catch up on everything um when she can and whatnot, but we gonna we gotta get into all this, bro. You look I'm I gotta say this, you don't you don't look phased about this at all. Like I would be like nerve wrecked right now. Nah, man, nah. I, I don't really um get nervous when it comes to this, I guess. You would you say because it's like how long you've been doing it? Nah, it's just um, it's kind of, it's just what I do. I think not in like a cocky, arrogant way, but because I'm nervous about a lot of things. Um, but when it comes to, I guess, creating and doing all this, I'm just in my element. I'm so much in my element. And, uh, so, so it starts from the writing process, then you create the project and then you switch right over to marketing and, and advertising. Then you switch over to the event. But, but all this is just in my element, I feel like. And see, everything that you just named is the very same reason why I would be like, is everybody is this good? How's the lighting? Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Like I but but I get it. I get it. You you you're in your element, so you feel like it comes with the territory of what you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, but also it's not just me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I got I got a I got a team. If mm-hmm. I didn't have a team, it just wouldn't even be possible. So it's not it wouldn't even be about being nervous or being not nervous. It'd be mm-hmm. about it not happening. Facts. You know, we, I got Shay. So Shailen Janice, Steve Corbin, uh, and all, all the people who really, really support me. Because a lot of people support, but, but some people support and say, all right, cool, I got this, I got this, I got this. And that's that's a blessing. Yeah, man. Okay, we're gonna get we're gonna get to the team. And I'm I'm speeding past things. All right. So before we get here to Black Blood, what I wanna know is tell me about Aaron. Tell me about the the the, the beginning stages of it. Cause I mean if I can recall, I, I heard that you you actually at one point you had hoop dreams. So like, how do you go from oh, yeah, that sure. to to you know what I'm saying, wanting to be a full fledged director? I mean, killing it. Okay, well, see, I'm I'm not the tallest dude in the world, right? But I was I was fast, okay. super fast, and my skill level was was oh yeah, that's God steps here, you know. So um so. It, so it made up for my height when you fasten mm-hmm. everybody on the court. So that's just what I did. Basketball every day, all day practice. Um AAU? Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah I hear you it all. Um, but I hurt my knee. So when I hurt my knee, it was like you and, and you and I'm not tall. So it took me from here to way down here. Yeah. Thank goodness I wasn't a trash talker because yeah, for real. <laughs> that was the day I recruited. <laughs> So just, just you know, it hit me because to be able to do so much on the court, mm-hmm. um, and then and put in so much time and effort, but then be bought so far down, was very humbling. Uh, but it was eye opening because that it was one of the worst things that happened to me, but also the best because that had me thinking, well, what can I get? Because I'm good at going at stuff and practicing it and developing skill. What can I go after that isn't predicated off physicality? Okay. You know, and that that kind of got me to directing. 
So I felt like if I was going to go after something with my all, I didn't want to be able to get hurt again and go mm -hmm. all the way down. So with directing, I just went in. I went in. I approached it like a like a um, like a sport. So like, what was? So I mean, like, why directing though? Like, I mean, because like, don't get me wrong, there's tons of things you could have been doing. You get what I'm saying? Yep. But like to say specifically, like, I feel like was there like a movie that you saw that made you say, "All right, no, I need to do this." No, I used to, well, kind of. I used to I used to do the um, back when Ali came out. Mm -hmm. I, Ali was out. I used to do the. Um, the Will Smith impressions of Ali, you know what I'm saying? I used you gonna to do just, it? Can you do it? I don't. No, no, I can't do it now. Because uh, <laughs> I, I got to get in my element, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but he got to get full fledged character. <laughs> hey, I ain't mad at you. <laughs> but I used to do the, I used to do the, the those, and so when I, it was really acting that I wanted mm -hmm. to do, and I said, man, I'm gonna be an actor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I decided I'm gonna be an actor. But if I'm gonna be an actor, I'm not going to Hollywood. I'm gonna make my own movies that way I could cast myself as the star. You know, <laughs> so, hey, keep it in house. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and now this is just you know. So I said, well, if I'm gonna make my own movies, I don't want them to be crappy movies. You know, I don't want mm -hmm. to be in nobody crappy movie. I'm gonna make my own crappy movies. You know, so, so I'm gonna learn and study how to make movies so I can cast myself. Yeah. But in the learning and studying of the movies, I realized that oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, because acting kind of brought me in that direction. But when I got it, I was like, that lit me up. I was like, oh, this feels a lot better than than, than being in. It. So, do you remember like the exact? Because I mean, of course, like I, I get it. Even like when it comes down to like doing this podcast thing, bro. Like initially, I was gonna try to do vlogs, mm -hmm. but it was like getting the camera. I remember I edited. I went ahead and I edited my first vlog. It's still up. You feel me? But I don't ever promote it. I don't say nothing about it. <laughs> But um, I fell in love with the process of it all, right? And then, like, I was like, man, the conversations is what a value is. This is funny. This is entertaining. But I like just that, 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 that conversation because there's, there's so many gems that come out of that, right? What I want to know is, like, what part of that process that really spoke out to you and said, nah, I found, I found my group. This is, this is what that's at. I think, um, I think the fact that... It that it was so many moving pieces. Mm. You know, when I got into directing, um, I thought, okay, you get a camera and then you aim it and then you hit record. And then, you know, that was pretty much the extent of it. You know, you might have some lights or whatever. But when I got into it, and I, cause I wanted to be great. I didn't want to just be yeah, like, thanks. okay, because I wanted to cast myself in a great movie. <laughs> So yeah. you wanted to be like, oh, he's a good actor, but man, this movie was trash. <laughs> well, you know, it was all about the acting for me. so. So I had to I had to bring out my performance with a <laughs> good movie. So but when I so I started picking it apart like like a, a basketball player would. Uh you know, it's all the small things on the court. So with that with the movies, it's so many small things. So I when I started going in that direction and, and seeing so many moving parts, and I was able to hold all of them at once. Mm. So um that's so it came pretty I guess it came pretty easy because I loved it. I love the complexity of it. That's the thing. Okay, so I don't want to breeze, breeze, breeze over that by no means, right? Mm -hmm. He said something that's like really, really important. You know, whenever you are like, it's 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 in your path, like the like the path that God put for you mm -hmm. to walk through something because you're gonna see that it's it may not be effortless. Because you're gonna have to apply some type of effort, but there's gonna be a genuine like passion behind it. Mm -hmm. That's that driving force to where like when you in front of this computer for like hours, it don't feel like hours because you're completely immersed in what you're doing. You you really enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's you're right. That's the thing that caught you. You feel what I'm saying? Because it's like if you would have got into this and been like, man, I've been working on the same scene for about three hours, four hours, man. I don't know if I want to do this. I I think if you look at it like that, you're looking at um. You're looking at everything all wrong because mm -hmm. it's not about time. It's about uh, completion, mm -hmm. you know? So I think whatever you're doing, no matter what you get into, you should feel, well, I assume, you know, mm -hmm. uh, that you should feel as if you're building. If you uh, are an athlete and you, you got to eat right, you know what I'm saying? You got to take care of your body. You got to lift weights. You got to practice on, in the court, on the court, on the field. So all these things are building skill. You should feel like you're building. Every day you should feel like you got you notched up. 
So whenever I, whenever I'm editing for hours, it's not, I don't think about the time. I think about, okay, where, how much did I get done? How close am I to completion? And whenever you go there, you don't want to stop. Like your body going to start to kind of break down at nighttime, (laughs) but you just like, I want to get to that level, to that line. So it's not, it's not the time, it's the task. Never the time. Never the time. Hey, yo, don't steal time, that. Time don't exist. <laughs> time don't exist. I'm put that on a t-shirt. Yeah. Don't <laughs> well, time that. don't exist till you don't have enough of it. Yeah, facts. That's when it exists. You know what I'm saying? Don't, as long as, I guess as long as you you making valuable your time. You feel me? Like and like you said, like as long as you focusing on completing these tasks, mm-hmm. you know it's good. So, what was like? What was that like initial? Okay, so you got it in better in your mind. I'm about to be a director. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mm-hmm. get good at this. Um, what was that moment where like you said, okay, you know what? I gotta tell people about this and tell my family. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, how was how did that go? Oh, because I mean, that's a that's a that's a huge change. You know what I'm saying? Going from because most people would say I'm gonna be a coach. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Like most people would say that I'll be a coach, but you went a whole different route. So like, what was that conversation? I think like? I think most coaches would rather be players though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you had a, if you had a, if you had a uh, a option to coach in the NBA or play in the NBA, mm-hmm. I'm sure you're gonna play. Yeah. So. Uh, but then you 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 know, but you run your course, and then you get to a, a place where you want to coach, mm-hmm. or maybe physically you just ain't got it like that. So you're like, I'm gonna be a great coach. But I think ideally everybody wants to play. Everybody yeah, wants yeah. to be in it. You know what I'm saying? With directing, is something slightly different because it's like you can be up front, but also stay in the back. Mm-hmm. You know, I can create a thing and let everybody else shine, and I'll be in the back. I'll still get mine because you know I created it. But I don't have to try to boost myself. I can boost everybody else, and that makes me comfortable, you know. Because sometimes I don't, I don't prefer to be up front. I prefer to be the mad scientist in the back, putting everything together, making everybody look good. You think that's the creative in you, though? Possibly. You know, I find like a lot of a lot of creatives I'm talking to now, man. Like they rather just put out dope stuff, and I don't want nobody to know who I am like that. <laughs> you feel me? Like, yeah. like enjoy the content, enjoy the creation, but. Don't bother me. Well, I, I'm, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to get back to your question because I do remember your question. Um, but I would say, I think I want I want that. Like, I want people to know who I am. I want people to appreciate, like, the work. But I don't want to to just be the one pushing it out there like that. Mm-hmm. I would let the work create that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because if the yeah. work's good enough, if people connect with it, it's going to create that. Yeah. Otherwise, it ain't for me because I don't want to be out there, hey, man, look at Director Fresh. Look at me. Look at me. Nah, yeah. nah. Put the work out, and and the work is gonna do what the work do because people are gonna come into your life. That goes back into that. That goes back to what you said about um, when was it? Uh, when did I feel it uh, appropriate to kind of put myself out there and tell everybody? Well, that's always gonna feel weird because I felt super weird about letting people know that I was a director. You know, it was a big milestone for me to go on Instagram like back then and put director fresh because and 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 that was that's my name now that wasn't my name yeah. that was me <laughs> saying I'm a director and people started calling me director fresh yeah. and so I was like okay this goes I stay. guess that's that's what that's it, it is and so by me doing that and me starting to create work and people starting to look at me as a director mm-hmm. I appreciated that but it came with a whole different pressure now like what what pressure whenever you creating stuff in the dark and nobody really believes in you, then you use that as fuel and it's like, yes. But for me, very soon out the gate, I think it flipped because people was like, yes, him. Mm -hmm. So me coming from an athletic background and using that as fuel, uh, using using the the fact that nobody believes in me as fuel, now it's different. Now it's like, oh, you gotta gotta find a whole different motivation. Man, you know, and I, f- I feel like a lot of that goes to the idea that you you you, s- you took this road that's like not, not traveled by a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, we 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 know each other from from extension of Chris. <laughs> <The homie. laughs> you feel me? Um, but being that like being out here, not there aren't that many directors. There aren't that many people that's trying to do do this what you're doing. And I think we had we had a discussion about this. What was it last night? Yo, hey, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Hey, like we, my man, my man is my man is real polished. He's professional. 
You no, know, I'm 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 just not starting it. Me and this man have been talking on the phone. Oh my like, what's up? Like every other yeah, day. Sure. Um, I, I, it's crazy because like you said, most people don't get that. Where like they say, hey, I'm a, I'm now I'm doing this particular thing, and everybody around them automatically says, you know what? Okay, cool. Yeah, I believe in you. Go do that. It's not automatic. It's not automatic. Never automatic. Uh-huh. Nah. It wasn't automatic for me. It was um, I think, I think um. The passion that I put behind it, and I just I just decided what I wanted to do, no matter who was there or who wasn't there. So when I decided, and I was going on this road, and I was consistent, people started to come, and the more people were here, the more the more people came. Now me, I'm not. I think it might be in my personality, like I'm not really the type to shun people. I want everybody to come together and do great stuff. And whenever somebody like every everybody got a talent or a gift, so. I just feel like um, if I have a production and so many moving parts, I it's I love to put people in positions to thrive for yeah. both them and the production. Man, bro. Oh, man. Okay. All right. So what was that? Okay. So like, what was the first project? That, like you said, like you had to, it, it was earned, right? Mm-hmm. Obviously. So what was that yeah. first project you put out and it was like, all right, I see you. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody got that one. <laughs> The first project I put out, well, we, we start. I started off doing funny videos. Okay. You know, so um, I like started Instagram? off with Steve Corbin. Yeah, Steve Corbin Jr. doing funny videos on Instagram and Facebook. Um, yeah. Now, mind you, I was already studying movies. So mm. we started doing funny videos just to pass the time. Gotcha. So then people started like liking them and people started watching them and following. And that's how I, I, I gained the following. Gotcha. And then, uh, but I saw a ceiling. Like, I, cause I was I was on the road to do movies, and now this was getting popular, so I had to make a decision, yeah, and I stopped. I stopped. I was like, nah, this is cool and all, but I don't want to be known as that. I rather, I rather car, I rather stop that, put that down, and carve out and finish carving my road as a director, which is way way behind the funny videos at the time. Okay. Yeah. So now I gotta ask this question, cause you saying the funny videos were gaining traction. Mm-hmm. It's really hard to walk away from something that's like working. You know what I'm saying? Um, just to give a perspective, mm-hmm. what was like the amount of views you on, on a video that you like one that it you was, was like? It was Man. different back then. It uh-huh. was different because this was some years ago, so the views are different. Um, back then, if you get um, man, what ten thousand, twenty thousand views on a video, you know, you popping. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I mean it's still like that now. Well, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm like. So you was walking away from ten thousand, twenty thousand, like like I mean in the in the. So it was the start, in, you know. The I, it was the, it was yeah. going up, and the, and it, it was just it was just going up with every video. Dang, and you just was like, yeah, bro, I don't want to be, I don't want to be putting this box. I'm out. Yeah, because because of the belief that I had in what I was doing, mm-hmm. I I believe wholeheartedly, like um, in the filmmaking and where I'm gonna be at, and the things I want to create in filmmaking. So yeah. to me, it was just a distraction, you know. Like it was cool, but it's like this is a distraction and a test. So From my real, goal. it wasn't hard at all. It was just like the hardest thing was because you know I'm on Instagram and I'm making these funny videos, and when I post something, I noticed when I post something else, it wouldn't get as much attention because okay. people only wanted me to post those funny videos. So for me, it's like I can keep playing this role, or I can do what I want to do. You know, put it in their face enough, they're gonna. Probably, but that's but see now that's a whole other grind I got to do. Mm-hmm. I got to try to convert these people who want funny videos into watching my movies. I'm not into it. I'd rather make my movies and whoever likes them then come aboard, come on the trial. Man, that's the harder route, but I'm, I've never been scared of that. And see, man, bro, like I'm sitting over here thinking to myself, like, okay, because. I'm gonna tell y'all this now. This is a different individual, okay? <laughs> like this man that gave me pep talks, you feel me? But not everybody got that though. Not everybody has that, like that, 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 that mental fortitude on some, this is what I wanna do. I don't care that this is working. You feel me? Like most people gonna jump ship and say, man, I'm gonna focus on this because this is working. I can put money in my pocket, you feel what I'm saying? It can elevate my life. Like I mean, if you that, that, like, where's that? Where's that belief? Like that belief come from, bro? Like that, like that unshakable faith. Like where does that come from? I think, um, I think it comes from uh, 
com being competitive. I think that's where it initially started because being competitive in basketball is just like I want to be the best, and mm -hmm. period. And so I don't care how, how long I got to be in the gym or, or what I got to do for this or that. It's like that's the, that's the goal. So it starts with, for me, a decision. So my decisions, when I make them, um, now, mind you, not, not not the decisions like, oh, we going we going to eat at Taco Bell. Like, nah, That's I could change decision. that if y'all want if y'all want Canes. Like, That's a we, bad decision. We could go to Canes if y'all if y'all want to change it. Like, it's That's fine. <laughs> but I mean, like, when I decide what I want to do, mm -hmm. um, and I really, um, uh, you know, look at my surroundings and I make that decision. That's it. There's nothing else. There's nothing else that exists once I make that decision. So. Uh, everything that kind of comes um, in between you and that decision are all distractions. Bro, that's a scary, scary, like, that's, 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 that, that's, that's scary for me. Like, like, like even starting this. It's scary like, for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you don't see it that way. <laughs> you, know, you seem like you just like, man, it's because like, cool, cool aesthetic. Because I understand. I understand, mm -hmm. um, I understand what it looks like at the end. You know what I'm saying? So whenever you... Because I always say my gift is vision, and I know that. So whenever you know what it looks like at the end, everything that's trying to take you away from that is distractions, period. So, so once, you, um, once you really see it like that and you make that decision um, and you're dead set, so you, you say, okay, well, what if, I, what if I go down this whole route and then I realize, man, um, this, this really wasn't the right way. That, very, that thought is a distraction. Mm. That thought is a distraction. Would you like? I don't think like that. And, and I have thoughts like that, maybe. But then it's like so suppressed with what I see yeah. that it doesn't. None of it matters. And then when you when you have like, look, we we at the premiere. This ain't yeah. my first rodeo. We've been here. So and we're gonna have a great event tonight. Mm -hmm. but, but all these things. Every time somebody say they proud of you. Every time somebody watch your video. Every time all these things happens, you have to understand that that's confirmation. So we, we have an idea to see negative more than positive. So you could be on a great track doing all this great stuff. One person say your stuff sucks, and now you take 100 steps back. You see what I'm saying? What about all those people who said all this stuff? I, like we, we, we wired wrong. Wired differently like that. So you got to start taking that in and remembering. That's why it's so important to have people in your life to say, I'm proud of you. I like that. You're doing it. You're good. This man. That's not that good. <laughs> this is good, you know, because they got to be real with you, yeah. too, you know. No yes, man. Nah, nah, you know, well, you need them, too. <laughs> you need them, too. I take it all because you have such a long journey. Mm -hmm. I take them, too. Okay. You know, but you can't keep them, and they can't be too close, though. It, it, your contract is temporary. Man, if you say, if you can say, all right, this is what I liked about it, that's what I didn't like about it, okay. and, like, really, really feel that way, like, don't just tell me you don't like it just because you want to be critical because you, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, for real. Some people just contrarian. Yeah, like, like it, it, if you like everything that I ever put out, great. People are like that. Cool. Great, 100%. Yeah, because them people typically, they just believe in you. They're like, yo, this, this is dope, period. My, my, my dog doing it. My man. You feel me? <laughs> I thought it was dope, too. <laughs> I man. thought the same. Man, okay. So you said something to me the other day. Bro, it stuck with me, y'all. Like, I got, I gotta say this. Okay, I gotta say this, man. Um, this man, I think I first we, we was on the phone for what, like three hours, something, something like that. It was like three hours just running it. And uh, he said something to me. We was talking about just this whole this whole journey of like chasing after something that you that you that you believe in. And this is why, like, I'm I'm happy that you touched on that 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 gift of vision mm -hmm. because you told me something that like really stuck with me. You were saying like. Fears about about like fear. What's on the other side of fears is like yeah. it's gold on the other side of that. Yeah, and as long as you keep that in mind, for sure, for yeah. sure. So so this is our third premiere. Um, mm -hmm. for the first premiere, we we worked so hard on this project, the Kickback One. Yeah, I had all these plans. I told Shay, told Steve, we doing a, a premiere. You know what I'm saying? We are gonna invite all these people. We are gonna do all this, and then right before it was time to jump and start promoting, I'm like, eh. <laughs> Do we really need to do a premiere though? And so, me. so of course, I was terrified. <laughs> so I came up with all these facts before I even approached them of why we shouldn't do a premiere um, and why we should just upload it. So I came to them with my facts, I had my list. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, I don't think we should do a premiere, you know. Uh, and I really, within 
with enthusiasm and charisma went through this list and <laughs> and selling them on why we shouldn't do a premiere. Well, you and they, shouldn't do it. They listened to this whole pitch and they was like, uh huh. <laughs> You could go with this list mm. and do whatever you want to do, but we taking this movie uh, that you made and we having a premiere for you. Yeah. You you come if you want. <laughs> so you can come, you just that was pretty that. much it. <laughs> so so they was like you're scared. It was like and it's okay, but you're scared. Man. And so, so I, I had, had to, to. And then I'm I'm sitting there. I'm sitting in it, and I'm like, damn, I am scared. Did you get mad at first? The no. Real. Whenever I understood it was fear, uh -huh. I became fearless. You know, because then I, I saw the enemy. I was Ooh, like, oh, it's fear. And so we had the premiere. So after the premiere, we've been in festivals. I've been in a paper. I've done dozens of interviews and did all this stuff and be contacted by a lot of people uh, that put me in different positions. None of it would have happened. We wouldn't be here if, if I, if I would have just had my way and, and let fear stop me. And that's that goal. That's that goal that's, that's on the, the other side of then, well, so So then, you know, you start breaking stuff down. So now it's like, um, I was scared. We still went, and there was nothing to be afraid of. Instead, all this was on the other side of that fear. And you would have never seen that. How many people get stopped by Ooh. that initial fear, but all this could be behind it? So yeah. then I started attacking things that I was scared of. And so then I saw all these things like, oh, there's nothing behind this. This fear, that's, that's, it's, just, it's just smoke and mirrors. It's nothing behind it. None of the things that I was afraid of actually came to fruition. I think that's how you say it, right? Yeah. But none yeah, of them. Yeah. None of them. I just so whenever you start keep going through the walls and there's nothing there, you get you don't be as nervous to go through the door. If you walk through a hundred doors and there's nothing there, you're not really that nervous when you open the door now. Man, I'm gonna say, thank God for your team, bro. Yeah, thank God for, sure. for your team. For sure. Like um, that don't. I know that that's something that's not really like talked about a lot, bro. Like I, I, I when I when I look at like my my circle, like with Chris and and my boy Cove and stuff, and I mean even you, like as much as you've been like pushing, you feel me? Like it's 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 been crucial. It, it, it's been crucial because there've been too many times I just wanted to quit, bro. But man, it's bro. supposed to be like that, you know. It's um, if you think about all the dreams, everything that you want to do, it's supposed to be scary. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be hard. Like, all these things, if you ask for it, it's supposed to go to hell. <laughs> like, it's, it's like, okay, cool. You you serious about this? That's what you want? Say less. And then your life fall apart. <laughs> like, but you have to hold on with one hand as you're getting beat up. Hold on to that dream. No matter what happens around you, you have to just hold on to it. Now, you're going to be, your fit, your, your confidence is going to leave you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Every, like, you're going to get beat up. You're going to be tired, hungry. Um, your confidence is going to waver. That's, that's the most important thing you got to understand, but you have to just hold on to it. And nothing can pry it, pry it from you. That's the thing. Nothing can pry your hands open and take your dream. Things, can be, things are going to beat you up and try to convince you to let it go. But it won't take it. You have to make that decision to let it go. Man, and now we're here. Black, Black we Blood, here. the finale. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. All the work put in the series been great. Like, yeah, I mean, thank you. If anybody have not seen it, y'all got to check it out. I mean, this is going to be it's gonna be all out by the time y'all see this. So <laughs> I'm going to link it in the description and everything like that, man. What we got going on tonight, bro? Like, let them know. Tonight we're just going to celebrate, um, celebrate the completion of the largest project that I've been a part of. And uh, it's over 100 people in the cast and crew. I'm appreciative of every single one. All of them were handpicked. Um, so nobody got in this project by chance. I love and appreciate them for taking a chance because this is such a different subject matter than yeah. n normal uh, projects like that. So we went all in, and so I appreciate them for that. So we're going to celebrate tonight. Hey, man, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking yeah, forward to sure. it. I, like, I, I got my outfit all picked out. I was like, <laughs> hey, hey, you look good now. I, I, look, I just got a T-shirt. Man, we, talk, we had a conversation about this. <laughs> we had a conversation about this. My man was like, bro, I'm working. I'm grinding. I'm going to be comfortable. I'm like, all right. You know what I'm saying? And this is why like, I'm, go, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm like, okay, I know he got a lot going on. I ain't going to try to keep you too long. And we got to definitely, we're going to link up again. We're going to have to uh, top it up, bro. But you know what I'm saying? Let them know. Let them know where you can find you, bro. Yeah, go to, if you go to watchdirectorfresh.com, it'll take you from there. Uh, box gonna pop up, put in your email, and after that, you alone for the ride. Cause everything that we got coming, we're gonna send it directly to you. 
So, I mean, that's pretty much all. If you want to watch YouTube, go to YouTube and watch uh, Black Blood, the series, go ahead. Um, hope you like it. Leave some likes and comments. But the train moving, man. We're just going to do the best we can and tell the best, most creative stories we can. But you could definitely stay close with WatchDirectorFresh.com. No, I'm saying, and I appreciate you giving me time to do this with me, bro. Uh, I know we was like real crunched, but we, we made it happen. You know what I'm saying? We made it happen. Well, look, the success ain't random. My boy, Director Fresh, Lake Charles, Louisiana, man. We we about to we about to turn up tonight. Yeah, for um, sure. We may get some footage, but I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. Your boy, it's date night with with, with the lady, and uh, <laughs> she beats me up every time I take the camera out. So we, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to drop a comment. Let me let me know what you thought about this. I'm telling you, this man got like tons of gems. We couldn't even pack it all into this time because he is busy. You. you feel me? But um, until next time, it's your boy, Vinel J. Remember what I say. Be blessed. Don't stress. You already know the rest. And we out. sad and disturbing news this morning. I regret to inform all of you that the serial killer has killed again. Oh, we gotta do this. Code 3 response. Unit. Stand by. I-12, code 5. So, y'all looking for a killer who y'all think is a vampire? So it's very unclear exactly what happened at this time to this young lady. Uh, it was very gruesome. She had a lot of damage to her neck area. So what y'all plan on doing when y'all find her? If we run into him, we kill him. As many of you may or may not have known, there has been another murder here in Lake Charles, Louisiana. We have only one more day before the citywide curfew. Vampires are real. This is proof. Stay off the streets after dark. It's some stuff going on out there that we don't have answers to. I don't want to tell you this, but nobody here believes this vampire shit is real. You gotta know violence, keep it low, please don't cause a commotion My response to the Levy and ruins and really not sure that's your type of promotion We are early on road, rolling, hog the lane in our bar, we ain't bowling In 16 I hopped off in the Ford, headed to Texas, not sure where I'm going I'm the coldest on earth, bring the wind just to out them levies, they see my devotion